his lovely wife, Zabi. What is going on? And Punk Gopher is here. What's going on, Punk? And also, I've been told that our good buddy Serve is listening via iPad. What? So, hey, Serve. Who's smoking crack? Smoke crack up in here. I am smoking crack, but but he is here, though. I got my bird claw ready. I'm going to scratch my back. That was the best thing during pregnancy. Man, I've used this more in the past week, and I don't know why. Because you're itchy. It's amazing. I think my back is my back is dry. Mm. I may need you to put some lotion on my back. So. That sounds like a precursor to sex. <laughs> Everybody knows that lotion on the back leads to sex. Oh, speaking of sex, let's go ahead and jump into the weekend wrap up. We 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 weekend wrap up. That's how you people say it, right? Oh, yeah. So most of you are like, oh, my gosh, Jay and Renee Gray talk about their sex life. But nah. Nope, not just, even close. That was it. Just just, just want to just say a huge congratulations to Renee. She has earned the title of aunt. I have. She my has. sister had my nephew, August. Yep. On Thursday, so yep. I so he's super adorable. He is. I love him already, and we're seeing him on the twenty fourth of this month. I am so excited. You, you always say the twenty fourth, and the twenty fourth is just when Brianna's graduation is. We're gonna see him the twenty first. The twenty first of this month, and I'm super excited. Yep. And I'm so excited. She's gonna be a great mom, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna drive down to Duvalier to see him. Yeah, so Brianna's graduating the weekend before Memorial Day. We're going to make it a dual-purpose trip, and we're going to go see our nephew and Renee's sister, and we're going to see Brianna walk the stage and, and graduate. She went to the prom. Um, she went to the senior prom this past week. be the dad of somebody who went to prom? You know, when I FaceTimed down before she was ready to leave, and I was like, who is this woman I am talking to on the screen? You know, it's kind of like, it was just, I don't know. It, it's surreal in a way. Um, and the funny thing is that my brother sent me some pictures of when Brianna was first born, you know, you know that we had. And I was looking at myself, and oh my gosh, I was like a big old goober. Um, Bigger than like a goober. Bigger than what I am now, you know. I was kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, who is that guy holding that kid? Kind of deal. But um, I mean, it's it's been a long time. I mean, it's like 18 years, and I have an adult um walking the earth. And That's in another 18 years, you'll you last. Can you imagine 18 years from now? Brianna will be 26. No, she'll be 36. 36. She'll be 36. She'll be your age, Renee. Watching her little sisters cross. Renee, she'll be your age. I can't even fathom. Renee, Bri- wow. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, by the way, Zabi said that her and Moo are going to Moo's son graduation in Atlanta on May 21st. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Wait a minute. What school? I'm curious. So, then, then Niora said there's 18 years between her older sister and me. Do you find that you're an adult now that, you know, you all have a good relationship? Because, you know, it's kind of hard to have a super close relationship. Well, no, because, I mean, it's easy because they're at the age now where they can interact. But, you know, right. they really can't talk back to you. Not really. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, my sister, I mean, my oldest sister, I mean, she's, I'm I'll be 40 this year, so I think... Y'all aren't that far apart, though. She's like four or five years. That's not... Well, but, n- again, we, I mean, we didn't grow up in the same house, you know, yeah. and 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 all that all that cool jazz. Yeah, uh, she said, yeah, they do, but she took care of her when she was little, was great at it, but a lot of people thought that she was hers, <laughs> thought that she was her sister's oh, kid. That's awesome. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That yeah. Is well, well, you know, yeah, that's some craziness right there. So, congratulations, Renee. Thank um, you very much. Appreciate um, it. Mr. August Ethan um, is my sixth. Hold on, wait a minute. It's your 
Jasmine, Jasmine, Jocelyn, Jamar, Jaquez, Jasmine, Justin, Jamar, Jaquez, um, and then um, Jasmine had a little, little girl. Oh, and Jasmine had, had had another girl, and then Jocelyn had a girl. So that's seven. So I have. Hold on, what I'm doing. Man, I have five niece or nephews, right? Right. And I have three. Is that grand? Is that great? What is that? Or is that just niece and nephews? If they're like my nieces. I think they count if you're. They count if you're nieces. I think. Okay, so I have. Oh, so it's, I'm a I'm a great uncle. I have three. I'm a great uncle to three. <laughs> so how does that feel? That's nuts. <laughs> that is nuts, man. Thanks, guys. Man, y'all make I'm bringing in forty with a bang. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. <laughs> Beat that, Renee. Get on it. You got what? Three years. I know. Three, four years. You got four well, years. Well, my sister did get on it. This, this is not anything I can do. With it. <laughs> so. Um, well, um, one of the things we did this weekend, um, we actually had some time out, um, uh, uh, individual time out. So lately, Renee has been letting me go to the game store, not letting me. Letting, yeah, I, I've I been keep going, chained up in the attic. I've been going to the game store, you know, because I was feeling guilty if I do go and Renee just doesn't get to go anywhere. Um, I, you know, I went to, I went Friday night. I didn't play Friday night Magic, but I went and I played Commander. Um, we played a few games of Commander. I did. And then I came back home. And then the following night, you know, Renee decided, I said, Renee, why don't you go out? You know, go to Target, go shopping, go do something. Because I feel bad, you know? And and so she uh she um she went out. You had a great time. I and, did. I went shopping uh-huh. by myself. It was amazing. And, yeah. Uh, that's all I really need. I don't I don't I don't need a lot. Yeah. And um, so, Commander, so Magic, so Magic the Gathering has all these playing styles. Um, so I played Standard. I played in the tournament for Standard. I won one out of nine, which I was amazed that I did because that was a pre-constructed deck that I was using. Um, but I did go after work on Friday before Commander, and I played a deck that I had built. And I have to say, my red green deck is pretty aggressive. And I'm, I'm a little proud of it a little bit, but you know, I I wasn't gonna play any tournaments this time because that's just too long. Um, Commander is more like a multiplayer version of Magic. So you get, um, so when you build your deck in Magic, um, for a standard, you can have no more than four cards of any type, except for lands, okay, and then all your mana, you know, so. Commander, you can't have more than one. So you have a hundred card deck, and you have a commander, which can be a legendary creature. And that legendary creature is included in that. So that's for one. So then you have 99 cards, 99 individual cards, and the mana has to match the color of your commander. And it's really fun. Um, I felt sorry for um the people are playing with because this is my first time playing commander and a lot of you know i'm really new to magic well not really new i'm new enough to magic to not know all the cards that these people know and the uh the um what's the word i'm trying to think of the um the courtesies that people do like when you're at at this game store when your turn is up you kind of look at the person you say it's your turn, you know. Oh, you can go. Very, very polite. You can go. You know, I'm, I'm done. You, you know, you let them know, you let them know you're done. You don't see me. I'm playing. If I stop, that mean that means I'm done. But no, nah, I mean they say, "Are you done?" I'm like, "Yes, I'm done." You know, <laughs> so, so I'm still getting used to those courtesies and stuff like that. Um, but I felt bad because there was one guy that had a, a trolley deck. It's a controller deck, and he was kind of a troll, and he wasn't a troll. It wasn't bad, um, but the guy that I was with, he had to suffer some of the stuff I was doing, and me trying to 
be fair instead of not trying to gang up on anyone, which we totally should have ganged up on this guy because he had a deck that was just, he wiped a board clean like three times and then cleared all our monsters out. I had like five copies of one monster and it was just, it was just a lot that, you know, I could have done. So I'll probably play Commander again. I think that may be one of my favorite, um, um, play styles so we'll, we'll see how Sounds it goes like fun. yeah yeah we'll see how it goes i mean um they can be the games are longer so but but again i mean it is fun um and then also last week um i got tired of um a lot of you don't see what i have going on or what i had going on on my side of the office um i had boxes and boxes and stacks of miniatures paint um mobile devices office equipment i had all this going on on my side of the room and i was getting claustrophobic and i worked from home and it was just really 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 i think it was really affecting my mentality i think i was getting a little depressed a little bit to be perfectly honest about it I think that was really bothering me a lot yeah i think i think you needed to free your mind yeah because it was like that was just all so much clutter there, and it was just That's really what clutter bothering. Clutter can do. Clutter can can really bother you. That's why you know. So yeah. what I did, I took some time last week. I did one massive ass haul over um, on my side of the room. I put up a new rack, um, a four shelf rack. This um, a metal rack. No, I put that together. Put my TV there. I organized all my miniatures. I have my miniatures sitting um, on shelves. I have the audio video stuff sitting up on the shelf where we can watch TV, play PS4, you know, a, a whole host of things that I can do. Um, and then behind me, um, I have a little work area behind me um, to do painting. So I, I've started painting again um, since uh, January. Um, so I finally painted a, I haven't finished this, so, so I, 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 I painted a land raider I like it. that I had picked up. I'm not, I'm not finished yet, so I'm, I'm going to say I'm not finished yet, so, so I, I got my land raider, um, I've been painting him, I need to put the rest of the guns on and everything else, then I touched up on, I need to finish, so I need to finish this one because... I painted the uh, exhaust and I need to do the exhaust on the other side as well. Part of me had, had I have thought about not doing it, but I'm going to. So, so I've been doing a little cleanup, feeling a little bit better, I'm excited. I'm going to be doing some more painting. Um, I'm really excited. So, do you think there'll, there'll be coming to a point where you're done? Mm -hmm. Do you do you think there'd be a point where you're done? Yeah, I mean, I have, um, I have some Space Marines I need to paint. I have a few squads of those that I need to paint. I need to put together some ter def um, um, Terminators. I have to put those together. Um, I have to put together uh, uh, the uh, uh, Dark Wing Striker, or and I got a couple of bikes to put together. So I have, I have a few to, <laughs> I have a little bit that I need to. Uh, Put together <laughs> for sure so and then even on that i have my dwarves that i got for christmas um i have to paint those from from reaper minis so i, I mean i have enough to to paint and, and jf he sent me some dwarves to paint so I have, I have i have a little bit to do so um but i do it when i can i'm not in no rush i'm not in any rush i guess i should say um to to get that stuff done so and I want to say hi to Sam Matrix. She is on the the uh, Twitch TV. Oh, what's Sorry. going on, Sam? Hey, Sam. Huh. I'm glad you checked that, you know. I wonder, uh, she doesn't know about the, she probably doesn't know about the chat room. You know? You yeah, give, we yeah. have a chat room. Yeah, so, but yeah, so it, it's, it's fun. Um, I think one of the things that I learned, because I waited from January until now, um, I messed up my mixtures, so some of my 
my my um, land rate came out a little bit darker than I wanted. But you know what? I think I'm gonna start writing my my uh, recipes down. And that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to have a book with recipes. You know, I'm a bad you know painter. So that's pretty awesome, though. <laughs> a recipe book. All right, so. Uh, Enough uh, talking uh, of, of, of the week and stuff like that. So let's jump into a little bit of tech. Tech, 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 tech technology. Speaking of tech, I wonder if I wonder if it's been fixed. Do you think it's been fixed? I don't know if it's been fixed. But anyway, um, I made a couple of purchases the past week or two um, for the camera. Um, I picked up a Fotasi. Um, Fotasi. Renee hates the spelling of this. I picked up an LCD hood for you my... Sure, you sure it's not Fotasy? Fotasy? I like, don't know. F-O-T-A-S-Y. Like photographic and fantasy? Sure. Fotasy. I mean, I'm just saying what, they, what, what it probably is. Fotasy LCD hood for my Sony NEX because I don't have a viewfinder. Well, I can buy a viewfinder, but I'm not going to spend 200 bucks to put a viewfinder on my camera. So I bought a... I bought an LCD hood, so when I'm outside taking pictures, um, I have some blockage going on, so I can shade the LCD. And it's not good to have blockage, though. I know, it's um, not good especially if all. you're pumping. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or if you got poop too. So, just, just it, yeah, yeah. Blockage <laughs> is never good. Block, the blockage isn't good unless there uh, is beta blockers. Beta blockers are good, right? Yeah, beta, beta blockers, blockers are good. So, blockers. boom, there you go. <laughs> um, um, so I, I bought an LCD hood and also I bought a manual 35 millimeter um, lens for my camera as well and and did I talk about this last time I don't I'm know with the lens or not um, but I'm really enjoying it I'm getting a lot of bokeh with it <laughs> um, bokeh. I don't know what that means you know like when someone takes a profile picture and you know how it's fuzzy you know how like when I took that picture of Zoe today and you can just barely you see Maya in the background, but it's really faded out. Mm-hmm. But you knew it was Maya, and you know she was throwing a fit. Yeah. So, but if somebody looks at that, they're just gonna see some fuzzy colors back there. That's bokeh. The the, the fuzziness behind, you know. Uh, okay. That whole light thing, like if you focus in on somebody and the light looks really big and not crisp, um, and I am me being who I am. Um, I haven't. I don't. I'm not saying the correct terminology. So, mm, oh, okay. so it's perfectly okay, you know. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so JF JF told me, you know, I can keep these recipes. I can put these recipes on my on my phone. <laughs> he has a valid point. <laughs> I could keep them on my phone. No, but it's so old school just to create. A book. I know, man. This I'm trying to go old school. I'm trying to do the pen and paper. Create a character D and D, rolling the dice type thing. I'm not trying to do all this electronic stuff. You know, I'm about to be forty and stuff. But I should um see. And Denora made a point. You can't put paint samples on the phone. Like you can put you can paint. You oh. put the little dot there and say this color was uh twenty drops of reaper leather brown and 10 drops of pure white mm. you know that type of stuff so makes sense yeah so and that's what i'm thinking about going back and painting i'm gonna have to go back and paint some of these because i mean i know what the recipes are now but i don't know what they were back then i mean to be honest i was winging it <laughs> to be honest that's what i've been doing so but anyway um let's go ahead and jump into some media Media, movies, books, comics, TV. All right, so um, we haven't watched any movies. Well, I haven't watched any movies, but Renee has. I have. Um, I guess I could talk about the movies first. Well, no, we have. Sure. Uh, sure. We just we just go through like it is. Okay. Let's talk about Daredevil. All right, so Renee and I, we have stopped on like episode three of Daredevil, and um, not because it's not good. Um, just because of time so this weekend we decided to start back watching Daredevil and we got in episode 4 and we finally saw I think I saw what P- 
people were attempting to spoil not not spoil on purpose but we saw what happened the mem- memorable mm-hmm. moment of the show of one of the shows so <laughs> it was like okay then I mean that lasted for like it lasted for a long time didn't it yeah it felt like five minutes it did it was kind of like all right okay we get the point okay all right, right. more okay all right uh-huh you can but i think it set the stage oh though. my goodness it was crazy that um and um and, and whatnot so so you know <laughs> we were yeah <laughs> that was nuts i was just gonna say that was nuts yeah, but 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 I'm liking it. I like the darkness. Um, I like that stuff's coming out on on Netflix like that. So it's yeah. good. Yeah, I enjoyed it definitely. Um, and we watched a bit. So since the big happening on Grey's Anatomy, which you know we're three, two and a half seasons behind, um, and we talked about this last show, but Renee and I have started. We're going to watch two episodes a week. <laughs> so, I'm great to me to catch up. Renee has been spoiled. You were spoiled by... Who are you spoiled by? I was spoiled. Oh, you were spoiled by Facebook News. Facebook Trending spoiled me. Which Facebook is Trending crazy. spoiled That's Renee. Fine. Whatever, people. But the funny thing is, if she hadn't been spoiled by Facebook, she would have been spoiled by what TV show were we watching and they said something about it. They said, and it was on a commercial. We were watching something. Yeah. Oh, it's blackish. We were watching one bla- of these doctors, something. <laughs> here. I'm like, okay, well, whatever, y'all. So, no, that was the one that said, well, now so and so is gone. Yeah. You know, and they actually said it. And it was oh, they actually like, said a name? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of like, all right then. All right, cool. It's out. Um, we watched Mad Men. Um, Don is There's crazy. Like two more episodes left. One more. One more. One more. Okay. Yeah, it's one more. One more. Yeah. Um, so I think I think the finale is tomorrow. Um, next week. I think that's right. But um, we watched that. Peggy's amazing. Peg, Peg, Peggy. Peggy's amazing, babe. You have to admit. I do love Peggy. Yeah. Peggy. Peggy's great. She's not my favorite character, but Peggy's great. Who's your favorite character? Joan. Really? Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the next to last episode because the reason I say that is um, um, because of what happened with Joan. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, uh, from what I'm seeing here, uh, next week is episode 13. And it is called the Milk and Honey Route. Root, route, root, whichever one you want to say. So, yeah, this is um, the finale. And I'm going to say it here. If they, so if they end this with Don Draper jumping out the window, I'm going to be very disappointed. Yeah, that'll be a little bit too on the nose. I'm going to like, okay. Really? That was y'all's idea the whole time with the whole credits and everything else? Oh, goodness gracious. Really? Um, that's not acceptable. That's not an acceptable ending for me. Okay? <laughs> so you refuse to accept that? I refuse. You, you, well, well, you might have to accept it. That is horrible. Happens, that is horrible. And I will hate Mad Men forever. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm enjoying it. It's it, it Plus, looking at Tom and Lorenzo's analysis so you still reading tom lorenzo i started back that too long ago okay well cool but it's Um, not too bad yeah i know um is there an ending that you would not accept or would really annoy you everybody dying everybody dying what about everyone is dead and this was just purgatory yeah that too (laughs) all that so everybody dying or so no suicide cult thing or no everyone's already dead and this is just purgatory okay 
Those are, those are not acceptable endings for Renee. So you've been watching movies. I have been watching a lot of movies. Because you finished Lost, right? Yes, but I did finish some shows. I can tell the shows I finished. I finished Black Mirror, which is good. You might like Black Mirror. Why? Uh, it's like Twilight Zone. You know how the episodes were individualized? Mm-hmm. It's like that. So okay. you, I think you might like Black Mirror. All right. Um, I'll put that on my list. It has to, uh, and it, it has to do with technology. Okay. Where, you know, Tales from the Crypt was more like horror kind of scary stuff this mm. is more technology stuff okay uh, but it's pretty good it, like like in but it, but they all have that like kind of chilling thing it's like oh my god that could happen to me kind of I don't know It's I think it's good kind of so freak me out you should check it out the first one don't let if you do watch it in order you really don't have to you can watch any of them because they don't relate to each other Mm. but the first one if you do watch the first one first don't let that don't let that one determine the rest of them for you put it that way don't tell me what to do okay fine whatever (laughs) do that all right uh um i think that's all the oh and bloodline is a netflix original uh, it stars the head coach from Friday Night Lights. Mm-hmm. He's in it. It's a it's more of a whodunit type thing. Okay. And uh, so watch those. And then um, the movies I watched were Frequencies. It was a recommendal from Nicole Spagnolo on uh, TMS. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting. It's a little out there. Okay. Um. It, it, it was okay. Okay. I uh, watched They Came Together, which is kind of funny, uh, starring Amy Poehler and Paul Rudd, and it has a lot of people from the shows you watch, like Parks and Rec and uh, Saturday Night Live and, and stuff like that. But uh, it is a parody of the rom-com. Okay. It's, it's, and it's, a, it's a very obvious parody. It's kind of funny. Okay. Um, so it's like that little dog show thing, parody? No, even more parody than that. Like, okay. It's totally making fun of the uh, genre. And uh, and I finished And So It Goes, which is a movie about old people falling in love. <laughs> uh. It's one of those, it, it, I feel like it should be a genre, old people falling in love. You know those those movies where the, you know, the, they're older. It stars Diane Keaton and... No, Diane Keaton's awesome. She is awesome. Diane Keaton. You know, I had a crush on Diane Keaton as a kid. She's she's a very very attractive lady. And I I have you know Michael what? Michael Douglas Let me see and Diane quick. Keaton. Let me see real quick. Let me see. It's never too late genre. Thank you. Yeah. That's a great. I I hate one. and I, and I feel oh. bad. I, I I still think she's sexy. You know, but is that bad? No. It's not bad to find. <laughs> why, why is it bad to find the older ladies? Sexy? I was just saying, I didn't know it's not it's bad, bad at all. Not. I think it's amazing. You know, uh, Mahogany couldn't do Black Mirror. Uh, yeah, it it can. Yeah, yeah. It the first. I, I I want people to to watch it, but skip the first one, but go back and watch the first one. Why? Wow. Because the first one will put people off. If you watch the first one, you'll see okay. why it would be put people off. But. Uh, so yeah, the 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 never too late drama, the never too late genre, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and so it goes. But it wasn't too bad. It, it was cool. It wasn't anything spectacular, but. And there was one thing that we found out last week that we had no idea was out there, but Nicole has made a site. It's recommendals dot com, and she keeps it up to date with her recommendals. And I was like, oh my god. How do we not know about this? So definitely, and she has a Twitter account. So go out and check out recommendals.com. I mean, if if you get to forget to write it down or forget to add it to your list, um, hit that site up, man. I was like, I was like, that's awesome, Nicole. Thanks for doing that. So it's almost like a just a, a big list of uh, things you can watch. So so yeah, definitely, definitely. Um. Then, uh, so was that your last movie? Yeah, that 
that's all I have. You have stuff on there. You have um. So I've been watching um Agents of Shield. Right. Um, I, I started that back up. Um, we, we decided to. I went to go, decide to go ahead and start watching watching that as, as well. Whoops, that's a little loud. That's a little loud, isn't it? A little bit. There we go. Uh, <laughs> um, watching Agents of Shield. I finished the first season of House. And man, the ending of the first season of the House, I was not expecting it. It was like, oh my gosh. You know, to the point, I love House. So I'm going to finish up the first season of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I'm almost there. And then I'm going to go back and watch a little bit of House. Then I'm going to watch a little bit of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth on those because, I mean, House is just amazing and stuff like that. Um, Game of Thrones this past weekend. Um, I have a email that I was going to hold off to read, but I have an email here from Mr. Feisty, and he said, "Hi." He said, I "Haven't emailed in a while, but I saw this article right after listening to your show, your latest show, and thought it seemed relevant. Enjoy." And I'm going to add the link here into the chat room, and the chat. It is talking about Outlander. They did something radical again on their show. And you know what they did? What? They showed man penis. Right. In the act of sex. Yeah, that's 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 not common. And and they he thought it was so Why do you say man penis? Why do you say this? Because, babe, American Pharaoh's penis was on TV. No, babe, when you say penis, I think people assume that it's a a human. Because I want to say well, man penis. Say human penis. <laughs> okay, human penis. <laughs> I don't understand why it's man penis. I'm but, so confused. We already went through this before. I don't understand. I don't understand why you feel like we need to talk about it because again. Because keep saying it. Oh, I didn't know we were having that conversation for me to stop saying it. I thought it was just me have, us having a conversation about it. You don't it. have to say it, but every time <laughs> you say it, I'm going. It blows my mind that you have to say. That'd be like to say woman vagina. Or woman breasts. Woman vagina just doesn't sound or right. That's woman or woman nose. That's just woman eyes. No. Man eyes. Man hair. No, it's got to be mustache. the first word has to be one syllable. Man nose. Yeah. So do you say they man nose? Sure, why not? I need to wipe my man nose. Why not? I have boogers in my man nose. My man hands. People talk about man hands. That that just means large hands when you say man hands. Okay, man penis then. What does that mean? It's man penis. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, okay, I'm not talking about penis again. Anyway, this week, that Outlander, happened. Outlander actually showed penis, and there was a big article on Huff Post about it. So it was, uh, it was a good read. Um, thanks, Johnny, for showing that. And also, let me say, on Game of Thrones, they must listen to the show, or they knew we were going to have this conversation last week, and they actually showed penis. Two penises on the show, did they not? Yeah. Okay, are you satisfied? Yeah, sure. What do you mean? Sure. You should be happy. You should be like, it's about damn time we get penis on TV. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm not celebrating. I mean, it's fine. Pe- penis is... Oh. Nudity is fine. It should be... I hate that it's. I hate in this country it's a taboo thing. Other countries it's not so taboo. No, you. No, I'm not even talking about it being taboo. I'm just talking about the fact that you complained about there was not enough penis on TV. I didn't say there was not enough penis. I did not say that. You said. What, what did you say? I did not say it's not enough penis. I just said that it's a. Uh, what's the word? It's not balanced. Okay, so there needs to be more man penis. I mean, no. there needs to be more penis on the show, right? Not what I said, okay. But is that what you're saying? No, Man, I'm not more saying penis that. or less boobs? I'm not talking about this. Okay, all right. Anyway, so Game of Thrones, it was good. <laughs> um, <laughs> really excited about it. <laughs> so, apparently, talking about penis is taboo to Renee. No, because is I think it's the way you say penis. Like it's like I don't know. You you say it like it's like it's like crazy word what no i'm not saying penis i'm just saying the, the way okay it reminds me of scott dots when he says vagina 
<laughs> really? It's not that extreme. Really? It's not that extreme. Okay. But All right. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, so DC Dice Masters, you know, a lot of folks know I play Dice Masters. Um, that came out last week. Um, there's a lot of hype about Dice Masters, and um, the DC version came out, and so um, I picked up the collectors and, and the starter kit. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'm here. We're in media, and let's talk a little bit um, because we have our good friend JF here in the show. And and one of the things that we're we're going to talk about is his book. We talked about his book, The Life Engineered. Right. Um, you've read it. I'm halfway through it. Um, I'm a slow reader. I say that all the time. Um, I have like three books that have bookmarks in them, and I need to go back and read them. And I do eventually. And I'm enjoying it immensely. Um, Renee enjoyed it, um, but JF is doing a there's an ink share campaign and jf is a part of that campaign where he is going to need your help and we want to support him in 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 doing this um so basically here's how you can help okay you can go out to inkshare.com and sign up for an account this is where you can pre-order his book and if he gets in the top five, he will have a chance to work with an editor and um, I mean other authors. He's going to be able to get his book published. He's going to be able, it's already published, but he's going to have a broader audience that he's going to be able to reach. And we want to support him in, in this. I know I do, but I know he's probably like, well, why haven't you pre-ordered my book yet, JJ? <laughs> and I'm like, because I like seeing you sweat, JF, because it makes you work. It makes you work because I believe in you. You're doing great, man. So go out to inkshare.com. Here's the steps. Let me. I'm gonna read as he wrote it. Step one: go to inkshare.com and sign up for an, an account. Inkshares is a crowdfunding and book publishing platform, kind of like Kickstarter and Indiegogo, but instead of just collecting funds on your behalf and then cutting you a check and wishing you luck, Inkshare would just straight up publish your book. Yes, he said straight up. Publish your book if you reach your goal. That is to say that they'll market, print, distribute, edit, and do all the things a traditional publisher does. The only difference is that they don't put themselves in a position to judge if your book is worth publishing. They let the general public decide, hence the pre-orders. Then step two, after you sign up, wait five minutes, you'll get an email, from Ink Shares that will give you a $5 credit to your account. Then you go to the book page for JF, which is inkshares.com slash projects slash D dash life dash engineered or search for life engineered and use the recommended function at the end of the chapter two sample to share the book on social media. This will grant you another $5 credit Use those credits to order the book for free. Free, guys. You get a free book. Then you go on step five. Rejoice in having gotten free stuff. In short, here's the TLDR version. Sign up. Share. Get free book. He says, thanks, guys. And take care of yourselves and your girls. That's right. He had to tell you to take care of yourself, Renee. And the girls. Okay. I will. You Promise. do that. You do that. You hear me? Okay. <laughs> so, Promise. <laughs> so it's real easy. It really is easy. So you just go out to inkshares.com and you want to sign up. And then once you're there, and it's really easy to find JS book because it's a sci-fi. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going out to inkshares.com, right? And when I'm out there, I see up in the top corner up there, I see where you can sign up. I'm going to click that sign up button, and then I'm going to hit my Facebook button because, you know what, I don't care. I don't care if they know I have a Facebook account. You know what, because I'm lazy. I don't have to remember my password. So, <laughs> so I hit sign up. I click the Facebook button. I give it permission to my account. I wait. I have five bucks. Boom. All right, then I'm out there. I'm going to go to science fiction which is real quick, and I'm going to browse all the books. 
And then I'm going to see this awesome book with a robot on the front, an Android or whatever. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it. Um, Spoiler. And then, and then, and I'm going to see JL's beautiful face, you know, out there, his headshot. And, um, and I'm going to be able to pre-order a book. But before I even do that, I'm going to read the chapter two. And at the end, I'm going to recommend it to some folks and wait for my credit to come through. So it's not really, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not really complicated. But so, so yeah, go, go, go support him and everything. Go, go Do check it out. It. So that's inkshares.com. Um, I wish that I had a link. I don't even know where my referral link is because I was trying to give to y'all so I can, um, rope y'all into using my referral link so I can have all the monies and stuff like that. So, <laughs> all right, well, cool. Um, we'll have the info out there for you all. And uh, let's, uh, oh, we're going to be tasting some food today. I almost forgot. Are you excited? I am. The fridge is not prepared. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so here's the thing. Renee has heard amazing things about spook of uh, what sp- how you say this babe speculos 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 crunchy spe- cookie butter this is trader joe's cookie butter mm-hmm. and you said you've heard great things about this i've heard amazing things so it says a deliciously unusual spread reminiscent of gingerbread and made with crushed biscuits so um all you have to do is taste it to understand babe spread on pancakes or waffles peanut butter and cookie butter sandwiches serve on ice cream dip pretzels or celery what do you do with something this delicious do not mm-hmm. refrigerate of, of course you yep. know I have the regular Speculoos c- cookie butter. Uh huh. Jay has the crunchy Speculoos cookie butter. And you know, I was really debating if I should get the crunchy because I was like, Renee doesn't like crunchy peanut butter. But this is not. But that's because it has peanuts in it. Right. And I'm. I'm. This is not something I'm going to be spreading on bread, probably. Really? You're not going to make a peanut butter and cookie sandwich? Let me see. So Renee, Renee is taking. The first bite mm. of of, uh, of cookie butter, and I have to. I'm watching her face right now, um, and and I, I'm curious. Is it's it really good? It's really really sweet. Is it like? Is it really sweet? Like um, um. Not as sweet as Nutella. Not as sweet as Nutella. Nope. I wish I did, hadn't drunk all my water, but. Really, is that bad? No, I just say it's bad. Try it. It's good. That's crazy. Isn't it good? It's like gingerbread cookies. Wow. You like the crun- the crunchy? Hmm. That is interesting. Interesting or good? That's good. All right, let me try this. You may not like it. It may hurt your teeth a little bit. So what do you think? It's really good, actually. That one's really good. Which one you like better? Well, I haven't had this one okay. yet. So you probably like that one better, don't you? I like the crunchy better because it has the, the pieces of cookie in it. Mm, they're both the same product, just one has crushed cookies in it and one doesn't. Wow, this is crazy. This is this is dangerous. Get another spoonful while I'm in, while I'm podcasting. So, okay. Good. Ma'am, that was yummy. So that, see, I would just walk by and get a spoonful on my way, on my way to bed or something. So this is this was our try this. We haven't had to try this since um. We had popcorn from Punk Gopher. It's been a long time. It's been a while. And, it's been a uh, while. Oh, Speaking shoot. of. Shoot. I, I thought my trash can was right behind me. <laughs> but I cleaned up. <laughs> and it's actually 
just over so here. Crazy. Not where I can just throw it over my shoulder like You're nuts. Dr. J. Actually, Punk Gopher, I found some I found some popcorn that you gave us that I forgot about. So yeah. that, that was hilarious. And but we it were was like, still good. We was like, <gasps> more popcorn. Oh, so so yeah. Alright. <laughs> that was been try this. Brought to you by Trader Joe's Crunchy Cookie Butter. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Let's go ahead and um, talk with Mr. Feisty a little bit. Odds and ends. All right. Before we get into birthdays, um, we are going to let you all know. Um, you notice at the top of the hour, um, we did call ourselves the Bob. Up, up, up. We call ourselves the bi-weekly couple. Reason being is that as of today, Valentine Cast is going to be bi-weekly. We're going to go every other week. So, um, you know, just the, I think with where our lives are right now, that we're going to go bi-weekly. And, and I we- know, I mean, I like doing the show, but... I think it's just the best thing. And well, it's not a but. It's just you like doing the show, and that's just what we need right now. You know, that's that's just where we are. Um, I know sometimes I feel bad that we don't have a lot to talk about. You know, you don't, my life is pretty <laughs> boring now, guys. Um, but you know, you know, we can always talk about the kids and stuff. I mean, w- but we are going by weekly. Um, starting today, so we won't be here next Monday, but we'll be here the Monday after. And then when when our lives kind of get a little bit more active, this could just be a summer thing. We don't know, but we're not we're not pod fading. I promise. We are not pod fading. Um, we love doing the show. What's our next thing? We um, are going to once a month. Sorry. We're going to once a month, guys. Sorry. No. And, no, we're not. And we didn't want to miss this week. We didn't want to start next week because that means. We know we can't do it on the 25th, which is Memorial Day, because we'll be down in Atlanta or coming from there, and we will be wore out. So um, that is why we're here today. Um, we're going by weekly. I think that's probably the best to fit our schedule in and stuff like that. So, um, you know, um, that frees us up to do other stuff, um, you know, you know, spend some time with one another. Maybe close our eyes for a minute during this time. You never know what all we'll do. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so let's talk about birthdays. We have some birthdays up in the house. Whoop, whoop. So, uh, Steve Fugit. Yep, that's a co-worker of mine. He's, he's, he's my project manager on the big one that I'm doing. Yep, happy birthday, Steve. His birthday is today. Yep, and also today is Jeremy Logan. Happy birthday, Jeremy Logan. And then also we have Larkin Macbeth. Happy birthday, Larkin. With that cute baby, yo. I know. Baby's so cute. And tomorrow we have... Who we have tomorrow? We have Cassie Bell. I have known her since I was really little. And we have Sean Farrell. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow we also have... Oh, J.K. Grubber. J.K., 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 K. J.K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professor, professor, professor. <laughs> His birthday is tomorrow, man. So return of the fifth. So, so you know what we got to do. His birthday is not today. He got it last year. It doesn't matter. No, if it's that week. God. If your birthday is in is in the is in the week. Now it'll be the two weeks. Now we're by weekly of the you, podcast. You better be glad Renee we likes you, J.K. Sing happy birthday <laughs> live on air. All right. So cool. J.K. is here. Here JK's here. <clears throat> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, JK. Woo, JK. Birthdays tomorrow. Man penis. Um, and then. <laughs> uh, Tyra. I've known her since I was little. Her birthday is on the 6th. Why, why did Google make my 5-6 a Google, fraction? Because Google does that. Good luck trying to get them not to make it a fraction. Stop. 
There we go. What do you do space a- a- no, afterwards? No, you, you just go. You put a space and you got to go back. All right. And then Mike Schramm. Mike Schramm. His birthday is on the 6th as well. On the 9th. Paula Ingram. That's my cousin. Her birthday is on the 9th. Happy birthday, Paula. And then on the 9th, Mitch Zulu Nation. Is, um, his, his birthday is on the 9th. Oh, happy birthday, Mitch Zula. And then also on the 9th um, is um, the girls will be 10 months old. So That's nuts. That you believe is it? nuts. That is nuts. We had their 10 month picture. Yeah. I had it all set up where I thought I was going to do every month. I was going to do something cool, like with the theme. That that stopped. Man, you say that for the year birthdays, babe. How about that? Let's do that. Mm. You know, you weren't doing the cheap thing of just saying, I'm going to put a chalkboard up. I'm going to get some blocks and put by their head. <laughs> I don't even do that. Speaking of the girls, they are on the move. They are crawling. Um, like crazy. Zoe is cruising. She is pulling up and she is walking along walking along furniture. Yep, she's cruising, man. It's crazy. Um, so it's kind of nuts, you know, here in the house. Um, they're crawling over us. They love the dog bed, which is horrible. They want to lay on it. So I made a dog bed for them with blankets. And it works sometimes, but then sometimes they want to go lay on the dog bed, which is gross. Know. But okay. Hey, I try to look. That's Take fine. this from me. No. Um, Renee's getting another thing of spoon full of, I'm done. of I'm cookie done. butter. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, and then when you when you guys, if you haven't done it yet, Ink Shares, inkshares.com. Sign up. Search for the Life Engineer. Wait for your email. Get your $5 credit. Pre order that book. Yeah. So help, help JF out, you know. Uh, I like seeing them sweat though, but don't hold off. Go ahead and do it. I'll I'll need to go out there and do it here, <laughs> so I can just I don't know. Maybe I'll wait. But they did come today. Mm, I guess I have to pre-order. Well, um, but anyway, if you want to reach us by email, like Johnny did, and as well as JF, you can do so by email at the Valentinecast at gmail dot com. You can see our blog at Valentinecast. The podcast for the feed is the Valentine Cast, as well as the Facebook page. You can call us if you want to. You can call us at 415-75-VCAST. That's 415-758-2278. Video can be seen at youtube.com slash valentinecast. Jay's Twitter feed is the cowboy and my twitter feed is the ice flow thank you all for being patient thank you all for watching um sorry for the folks in the valent tavern for seeing tom's face and then justin and brian's face and not seeing our beautiful faces but we'll have this up on youtube youtube youtube.com slash valentine cast that's where we'll be um have a great week May the fourth be with you. Return of the fifth. And all that craziness. You know what I'm saying? Man penises and boobs. Boom. <laughs> Valen Tavern. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for showing up. Denora. Ice Flow. That's you. JB Hanna. JF DeVoe. JK Grandma. Moo Hogan. Punk Gopher. Zobby. Love you guys. Chitoni, Seminatrix, Soda Bubblies, and Serve. What's up? Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks for showing up, being here. Love you guys. Peace.
Boobs. Man penis. This is Alpha Geek Radio. You just say it because you know it annoys me. <laughs> it's okay. That's the only reason you say it. That is not why I say it. Why did you just say man penis just now? Because people think it's funny. Not because of you, Renee. God, quit making it about you. Shoot. Are you, st- are you still playing Pillars of Eternity? Um, I have it. I haven't played it. Um, Tony wanted to know. Shatone. Shatone. I like saying sh 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 Shatone. Sh- I need to pick sh- it back sh- up. Shatone. Oh, I bet you would. You know what? Uh, I think it has me down playing. Uh, I think I didn't change it. I think it has me playing. Oops, sorry, Shatoni. Yep. It is. I think it has me playing. Oh, 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 oh. Here comes the hammer. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. That's they put awesome. Me in the mix. Here comes the hammer. Uh, mute. Yep. I had that. Yep. I had that uh, tape. When was a tape? All these. These kids don't 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 know anything about tapes nowadays. There we go. Sorry about that, shit, Tony. I apologize. I didn't change that. I should have changed it, but I didn't. I apologize. Believe me, it's true. Believe me, I do. Oh, believe me, I do. Yeah. I was wrong. All right, cool. All right, let's see. All right. And I need to stop local recording.